When I started my online business, I had never heard the word mastermind. And although I know that the term isn't well known outside the online business bubble, I'm always surprised when I have to explain what a mastermind is. But it, it is clear that not everyone knows what it is. So before we dive into this episode, let me briefly explain what a mastermind is. The term mastermind was coined by Napoleon Hill in 1935. He wrote the book, Think and Grow Rich, based on his research on why some people are more successful than others. His conclusion, they were a part of a mastermind. A mastermind is a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring group of individuals who meet on a regular basis in person or virtually to push each other to work to their highest potential and hold each other accountable. Most successful entrepreneurs today use masterminds to grow their business and work on their personal development. One of Jim Rohn's quotes is my favorite. You're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Participating and being a part of a mastermind group cannot just help you grow your business, but also dramatically improve your life. If you haven't joined one yet, I highly recommend that you do because it's important for entrepreneurs, especially those who work from home like myself, to be in a mastermind group. Besides business growth and personal development, networking with peers is a huge part of being in a mastermind and therefore you need to choose a mastermind group carefully. Start by considering if it is the right time to join a mastermind. The time is right when you are making money in your business. I would even say that you should be making at least 100,000 to benefit from a real mastermind group. If you have started to make money, but you're not at six figures yet, then you're going to benefit a lot more from a group coaching program. So what's the difference between a group coaching program and a mastermind, you might ask? Actually, I have a whole episode on the difference, but I'll give you a brief explanation here. A group program typically has a curriculum and group coaching calls where you can ask questions live. A group program is perfect for people who want to learn something new and want more accountability and support than a typical online course can offer. I offer a group program called Momentum. It is built on 60 day sprints where everyone who participates in the sprint works towards one goal. For instance, like launching their online program. There are weekly group coaching calls with different coaches, including myself. And our coaches have different skill sets so you get different viewpoints and help with anything from mindset to Facebook ads. We also have an accountability track and everyone who joins the program is put into a self-led mini mastermind group of six people. All of these features ensure that everyone who joins Momentum can achieve their goals. Momentum is open to anyone who already has a business idea and has started to make money online. A mastermind, on the other hand, is only for people who are further in their business and I said ideally already making over six figures. A mastermind is about the people in the group and the coach is more of a facilitator than a coach. Although of course you benefit from coaching, but you are not just there to get coaching from the coach. You are there because you want to learn from the other people in the mastermind too. In a mastermind, there is very little need for accountability because when you're further in business, you're self-motivated and you typically have a team that helps you keep you accountable. In the past, I've run two levels of mastermind groups to cater to different income levels. And in 2020, I will again offer two levels because different income levels have different challenges. And you want to make sure that you are with people who have a similar income level to you. Besides from being at six figures, a mastermind is better suited for someone who is working full time on their business and wants to build in some momentum and accelerate their growth double or triple the revenue and go even faster. So based on this, you've decided that you want to join a mastermind, but how do you find one? You ask around. Referrals are the best way to find a good mastermind group. Google is often your friend when you're looking for something, but in this case, Google is your enemy. You either have been following a coach for a while and you like him or her, or you know someone who has joined one of hers or his mastermind groups. Don't leave it up to Google or Facebook to find a mastermind. I will run two levels of mastermind groups in 2020, and you can find out more at signal.com forward slash 344. So you have found one or two mastermind programs, but how do you pick the right one? First, you need to like the coach. 
You cannot work with someone you don't like because everything starts with like before you can trust. And since you're listening to this podcast, I got to assume that you like me. Second, you need to check out the coach and his or her experience with mastermind programs. It is safer for you if the person has run numerous mastermind programs and has years of experience than if this is their first mastermind group. That being said, if you find someone you really like and they have ample experience with one-on-one or group coaching programs, plus previous business experience and now offer a mastermind, you might take your chances. I've been running mastermind programs since 2015. And meanwhile, I've run over 35 mastermind groups. When I join a mastermind program, I always make sure I'm not joining the first round of a program, but an established one. Third, you should work with a coach who has achieved what you want to achieve or has the experience or education where they have in the past achieved something similar to what you want to achieve or they've been able to help their clients achieve what you want to achieve. As an example, you want to take your business from 200,000 to 500,000. Has the coach achieved that themselves? Or do you want to take your business from low six figures to a million dollars? Has the coach achieved that themselves? Another example, you want to have a six figure launch. Has the coach achieved that themselves? And maybe more than once. Or you want to have a multiple six figure launch. Has the coach achieved that themselves? And not just once, but multiple times. Yet another example, you want to build a successful, sustainable and profitable business. Has the coach actually built a business before they became a business coach or marketing strategist? Ask yourself that question. The first mastermind I joined was with Lisa Larter in 2016. This was after I had been her coach in 2015. And since I liked her so much as a client, I decided to hire her as my business coach. We basically switched seats, which was a very interesting and rewarding experience. I was already making over six figures, so making an investment of 20,000 made sense to me because I wanted to double my income, which I also did within a year. The reason I want to work with Lisa is that she already had a successful business before she became a business coach. And as a business coach, she was running an agency, doing strategy days, running numerous groups and a mastermind. It was the perfect fit for me at the time. The second mastermind I joined was with James Wetmore in 2017 and I was two years in his mastermind group called Inner Circle. I was making 340,000 when I joined his Inner Circle mastermind in 2017 and was able to triple my income within a year and grow my revenue to 1.5 million last year. I had already done a $230,000 launch when I joined the mastermind and have since been able to more than double my launch results. I made the 30,000 dollar annual investment with the intention of learning more about launching because that's what James is known for after doing multiple six figure and recently also seven figure launches. It was the perfect fit for me for what I wanted to learn in 2017 and 18. The third mastermind I joined was with Ali Brown. She only works with seven to eight figure female entrepreneurs and not all of her clients are running online businesses or doing launches and I found that very appealing. I first attended her conference called Iconic in November 2018 and did a VIP day with her before I committed to a year-long program called Premier that includes a mastermind group with retreats plus one-on-one coaching. I will be at Iconic again in November 2019 and I would love to see you there. So if you're coming, send me a private message through my Facebook page or my Instagram account and let me know that you will be there. I would love to see you. Actually, I was a part of two mastermind groups in 2019, which wasn't originally my plan. After two years with James Whitmore in his inner circle, I felt I had outgrown his mastermind and wanted to join a mastermind where I knew everyone would be making at least a million dollars. That's why I decided to join Ali's premier group. Two days after I joined her program, James surprised me by creating a brand new mastermind level for 2019, the seven figure mastermind. And since I liked and trusted James, I decided to join this new group as well. Being in two groups is not something that I necessarily recommend, but for me, it's been very beneficial as I get very different things from each group. So if you're considering two mastermind groups, just make sure that they're very different. And one other thing I want to say about this, don't do guru hopping. When you like a coach, Work with that coach for a few years. Maybe take a break and come back. 
I truly believe that it's not going to help your business to constantly join a new group, a new coach every year. The reason I'm staying with James is that it's working. And yes, there was a time where I felt I was not getting everything I needed, but then that changes again. So a few months where you feel, hmm, things might be out of sync is not a way to judge a mastermind program. So maybe it's because I'm so loyal, but I believe in sticking with one coach for at least two years and even longer and maybe taking a break and coming back. So sharing who I work with isn't a secret. My clients also share openly that they work with me and that I have helped them to grow anywhere from low five figures to multiple six figures. And some are even very close to the million dollar mark. And that's why I'm offering a new level next year called the red circle. So coming later to that one, I'm transparent with you who I work with and how I pick these people because we have a big problem in the coaching industry. There are a lot of unqualified coaches out there. A lot. I'm not talking about whether you're certified or not. Neither Lisa nor James are certified because that honestly does not matter. What matters is business experience. They actually know how to run a seven figure business and they had the relevant experience that I was looking for. There are a lot of people out there that call themselves business coaches or marketing strategists, but they've actually never run a business before they started to call themselves that. But I also want to assure you that there are a lot of qualified business coaches out there. I had a decade of CEO experience running seven to eight figure businesses before I actually started my own and took it to multiple seven figures. My focus is helping women do the same, helping you think bigger and take your business wherever it is today to a million dollars and beyond. I want to encourage you not to work with a coach who doesn't have the right experience to help you achieve your goals. It sounds obvious, but too many don't do their due diligence and then get burnt by working with the wrong coach who over promises and under delivers. Fourth, you should be able to review success stories from previous participants and even better if there is a video testimonials where you can verify that these clients are actually real. I don't want to plan any doubts but only text testimonials are just not good enough in this day and age, especially not when you're making a big investment. So when you go to signal.com forward slash 344, you'll find a link to my mastermind group page, and there you will see selected video testimonials with success stories from my clients. Fifth, ask yourself if the coach is a good facilitator. This is difficult to test, but through the success stories, you can get a feeling for the coaching style and the facilitation. Being able to coach one-on-one -on -one is not the same as running a group effectively and creating a successful mastermind. I worked one-on-one -on -one for a whole year before I started to offer groups. And before I started to offer a year-long program, I had tried and tested eight weeks, three months, six months, and nine months before I figured out that 12 months is the optimal length for a mastermind. Six, will this coach attract the type of people I want to hang out with? A part of a successful mastermind are the other participants. When you're looking at the testimonials, look at the type of people the coach attracts and see if you would like to be in a group with them. Now, if the coach is offering multiple levels, you need, of course, to look at the different levels as well. And before you join a mastermind, you will not know who is in it, but you will get a feeling for who is typically in a mastermind with his coach. This is the reason I will be offering two levels of mastermind. VIP Mastermind and my brand new level called Red Circle. VIP Mastermind is for women who are already making 250,000 and want to double their income and take it to at least 500,000 in 2020. Red Circle, my brand new level, my secret mastermind level. Well, maybe not so secret since I'm sharing it with you here is for women who are well above the 500,000, ideally at 750,000, and they want to take their business up to the million and beyond to multiple seven figures. All of my mastermind groups are application only, and I ensure that the women who join the group are a perfect fit for the group, both in terms of income, 
aspiration and experience. Seventh, a mastermind group is not about how many calls you get or how long they are. This is absolutely irrelevant. I know beginners and those joining their first mastermind focus a lot on these details, but honestly, it doesn't matter. What matters is having regular meetings and a private Facebook group. In my mastermind groups, we have one call a month. Each group has their private Facebook group and one-on-one coaching is either an optional add-on or included, depending on the level. Eight, what is an absolute must in a mastermind group is offline retreats. The retreats are the best place to network with other members, dive deeper into topics, have those informal discussions that just don't talk place without the life element. Plus, this is where the biggest breakthroughs, personal and business, happen. All of my mastermind groups get access to my annual life event called Signal Life, where we even have a special mastermind day exclusive for those groups. Both of my mastermind levels in 2020 will have three retreats, one in Reykjavik, Iceland, one in the Swiss Alps, and one in Zurich. The Zurich one is just after Sigrun Life, so that travel can be combined. The Swiss Alps retreat is a very special one. It is in a five-star chalet, all-inclusive, where you will really feel VIP so that you can think bigger and achieve more. And then, of course, I want to take all my clients to Iceland, my beautiful home country. Ninth, access to additional content and resources. Masterminding is great, but sometimes you need a bit more. That's why it's better if a mastermind program includes access to a course or a curriculum or a library that helps you do what you want to do. All my mastermind groups include access to Samba, my 12 month MBA for online entrepreneurs with a vast library of resources to build a profitable online business. Plus, they also have access to my Momentum Group Coaching Program. So those who are in my mastermind levels, VIP or Red Circle, actually can participate in the sprints as well if they want to. Number 10, and my last advice to you on how to choose the right mastermind group is to always hire the best you can afford. This is what I have always done and this has definitely played a huge part in my success. And not just to grow my business, but also to grow my money mindset always hire the best you can afford. 